Hello, I'm JC. I'm glad you're here. I'm going to show you how to get rid of your peach fuzz today. Yes, by shaving your face. Okay, we're going to start with uh, disinfecting our face. This is hypochlorous acid. This is one I found on Amazon. I'll link it in the description, but um, and hypochlorous acid does a wonderful job at disinfecting without stripping your skin like uh, rubbing alcohol will. So I just to be safe, I always start out by giving myself a nice little spritz of hypochlorous acid. So I just let it air dry and then I get started. So I use Tinkle razors. They are really inexpensive and because they're so inexpensive, I use a fresh one every time. I get, there's a three pack and I think they're like $4 for three of them, four or $5 on Amazon. They're really cheap. So again, because of that and for sanitary purposes, I use a fresh one every time. I only have to touch up my peach fuzz every couple of months. I'm not somebody who has a lot, but you may need to do it more often. But at this price point, I really do recommend using a fresh, clean razor every time. Okay, so I have no filters on and I'm hoping in this light that it works for you so that you can actually see my skin as I do this. It's really simple. I'm gonna actually do it without a mirror or anything because it's so straightforward. So you start, this is one of my Tinkle razors. That word Tinkle is just funny, isn't it? Um, you just take off the little protective cover and then you go for it. So if this is a 90 degrees, as you can see, that is 90 degrees to my skin. You wanna do this at a 45 degree angle. And you wanna start at the top and take light little feathery strokes as you go at a 45 degree angle. You do not need to press. In fact, don't press. These are very sharp. Uh, they're safety razors, but still, do not go straight on, don't slice, of course. You're gonna take very short little strokes like this and you're going to not go over the same spot. There's no scraping, it's like a light motion. Let me show you. And as you can see, there's all of the little fuzz is coming off in little tumbleweeds around my face. So it's gonna take off dry skin as well and it's gonna leave your face super, super smooth. So work your way all the way around your entire face. As you go, you're gonna to wanna to pull your skin taut as you can so that you're not going over the top of wrinkles and uh, most of us of a certain age, we definitely have wrinkles. And so you're gonna to wanna to pull your skin taut so that it's moving over a, a tight, not a, a, a loose surface. As you saw, I've got the, the, the peach fuzz flies off in <laughs> clouds of, uh, dust basically. So if you notice when I was on this side of my right side of my face, I was going this angle and then when I switch, so I'm using this side of the blade, when I switch to this side of my face, it's now using this side of the blade. So that way you use both sides of the, of the blade kind of evenly. I have never tried it on coarse facial hair. If I ever have a stray, which we all do, but if I ever have like a stray one dark hair that decides to go rogue, I just pluck it. Facial hair, so I'm not sure how well it would work. Um, so I can't recommend it. I'm not saying it won't work. I just don't know for sure. Um, all I know is that for light peach fuzz um, on skin like mine, I've had no problem with it. Although, you have really dry skin like mine, you might end up with at the end your skin looking kind of drier and worse than before because of all the dry skin that the razor has dislodged. So just go rinse your face off and put a nice thick layer of moisturizer on it and you'll be fine. Well, that's all there is to it. Uh, it's, it takes me under a minute every other month and then I toss the used razor and uh, I go through one of those three packs twice a year. I hope you try it. It's really not that scary. Uh, and a lot of people worry about it coming back darker or thicker, and that's just not the way hair works. Um, when it does, when your peach fuzz does grow back, and it will grow back, but when it does, when I'm done, I hit myself with some more hypochlorous acid. When the peach fuzz grows back, it is going to have a blunt end on it because it has been shaved, but the hairs are so fine that there's not like they're stubble. You're not gonna end up with like a rough face or anything. And usually within 
just a couple of days, the ends of that tiny peach fuzz has softened. And, and when you remove the peach fuzz, you're gonna find that your makeup, products, everything just slides so nicely over your skin as opposed to get, having everything get caught up in your peach fuzz, which most women of a certain age have dealt with. So I encourage you to try it and let me know how it goes. And I would uh, also love to hear any recommendations if you have other kinds of razors that you prefer. Okay, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining me today. Bye!